We talked about this briefly. I mean, once again, one of the reasons that uh, I like the Zeta application itself is simply because I've been burned in the past by using tapes. Um, tapes are, they're convenient. I think that's the one thing you can say about them. But the thing to realize about tapes, and if we look at tapes, I mean, specifically, I'm talking about the LTO uh, variety of tapes we have out there. I think we're up to LTO 5, if not mistaken, possibly 6. The bottom line here is that tapes are convenient, like I mentioned. They give you the ability to store a lot of data onto a tape, and they allow you to or put that data on at a fairly quick speed, which is ideal for what we're trying to get accomplished. The problem is, is once again, the tapes are going to fail on you, and the problem is you don't necessarily know when a tape is actually going to fail. You might think that you've actually got a successful backup. You might think that your, tape, your data is on that tape until you bring that tape back in. Part of the problem, especially when you look at it from an audit perspective, audits are tricky in the sense that you need to do a point in time recovery and you could have to go back as many as seven years and do a recovery and recreate an Oracle database, for example, from seven years ago. The thing to keep in mind when you're talking about tapes is the infrastructure cost itself. So you're buying the actual software and you're actually buying the actual hardware. So you have your capital expenditure from that perspective. The second thing you need to keep in mind is that you have the support costs for each one of those things. Rule of thumb in my business is basically 20%. You're going to pay 20% support cost to in turn support that application and to support that piece of hardware. After you reach the three-year limit on a piece of hardware, you're going to find that that support cost is actually going to go up. So from that perspective, you now have a situation where your infrastructure year over year, especially after it's advertised after three years, is going to actually start going up in cost. Uh, part of the problem you have with the LTO tapes is that remember that the tapes themselves keep the drives themselves are increased by generation. And what I mean by that is that, like I mentioned, we'll say the word LTO5 today. Well, if you have an LTO5 tape drive today, that means you can read it right to an LTO4 tape and an LTO5, and you can read off an LTO3. The problem is if your tapes are LTO1 or LTO2, you're not going to be able to use that device to read that data. So from that perspective, you now have to keep antiquated hardware to in turn be able to recover that. So if you have a backup that's seven years old and you have to bring it back in and you're an LTO1, well, you have better have that box under support some contracts so you can actually recover that data. I think that's one of the beauties of Zeta itself. We take care of that cost for you. In a sense, that's part of the bundle of cost. We take care of the upgrades, the infrastructure, and that's something you don't have to worry about. And from a testing perspective, any day of the week you want to try and recover that data from Zeta, we're here to help you out. So that, in turn, becomes something that we become your partner in recovery when you look at disaster recovery.